everyone today I'm going to be talking about the new vintage colors very very exciting I will be comparing them to the already existing vintage colors and aside from those swatches I will also be showing them next to the Bordeaux black uniball signo DX only because I talk about that pen so much so a lot of people who watch this are kind of commenting on Instagram and stuff about how it compares to the Cassis Black and they're actually quite different so I was just gonna swatch those next to each other. I thought the marketing like materials were really cute. You probably saw them on my Instagram. Those are actually our photos that we took with their like little marketing cute like stuff they sent us. I think a lot of people thought they were maybe zebra's images, but they were ours. So let me zoom in so I can get some good swatching. So here are the existing colors. I'm sure that like 99% of you already know about these. You've got the dark blue, blue gray, green black, brown gray, and red black. And then the new colors, we've got sepia black, dark gray, Bordeaux purple, super cool color, Cassis black, and camel yellow. So I'll be swatching all these and talking about them. So they only come in 0.5 millimeter tip size. They only make the vintage in 0.5. I also wish they would make them in like 0.4, but this is what we get and I do love them. All right, so First, I will swatch for you the new colors. I'm gonna start with the Cassis Black. Make sure it's, I'm gonna zoom even more. There we go. So I'm gonna start here. This color to me, looks very raspberry. I'm kind of surprised because it's not that dark that they called it Cassis Black. But what I'm gonna do is swatch next to it the red black that's already an existing vintage color. So you can just kind of see how much lighter it is, or maybe I would say brighter. So I love this Cassis Black Raspberry. I think it is amazing. Sorry, raspberry is my word for it. So again, the correct color name is Cassis Black. So then next I'm gonna show you the new color that probably so many people are excited about, which is the Bordeaux Purple. This one is amazing. And I would call it like an eggplant or a blackberry. I think like eggplant or blackberry would be a really good way of describing this one. That's Bordeaux purple. Why don't I lay this one down before we move on? So this is the Uniball Signo DX that so many of you are familiar with because you're used to me talking about it all the time. And keep in mind this is a finer tip, a 0.38. So this one is the Bordeaux Black in the Uniball Signo DX. So I just kind of want to show you those four colors together. Aren't they gorgeous? So again, the Cassis Black and the Bordeaux Purple are two of the new vintage colors. So now, which new one do we wanna do next? Oh, I think I'm gonna do the dark gray. So I really like the dark gray. When I was using it, this weekend on my homework notes, I thought, wow, this kind of looks like a really dark blue-gray. But interestingly, when you lay the blue-gray next to it, it, you know, doesn't look nearly as blue anymore as when you kind of are using it on its own. I am 
really pleasantly surprised by the dark gray. I was afraid it would be, I don't know, I was afraid the color would end up too boring or something, but I absolutely love it. So this one is the blue gray next to it, which of course has long been one of my favorite pens. You all know that. And this is one of already the existing colors. That of course is included in this original set too. Oh, I forgot how zoomed in I was. <laughs> okay. So if we've swatched the dark gray and we've swatched the blue gray, just trying to decide. So you know what I think I'll do next is I'll put the existing dark blue down so you can get another comparison there. So this is from the existing color. And of course now they're all existing, but I guess I mean the, the ones that have been in existence for the past two years. That's what I mean when I say existing color. Because I think there will be some people who don't who haven't tried any of these yet at all, so it's nice for you to see them all. I'm just trying to keep track here. All right, so why don't I swatch the two browns next? So we've got the existing brown gray. And this one is interesting to me because I would have maybe called this sepia, but one of the pens in the new series is actually called sepia black. So it's this one. So it's kind of interesting. So this one is brown gray and it's an existing color. I love these so much. I hope you're not too bored with the swatching. Some people love the swatching and some people are like, oh, come on. <laughs> and then this is the new caramel, no, sorry, camel yellow. <laughs> I keep wanting to call it caramel yellow because it looks caramel to me, but it's camel yellow. A lot of people are excited about this one. It's a pretty unique color. It's nice and bold, so you don't have to worry about it, you know, not showing up well because it really shows up well. And this one is what they're calling sepia black. I know some people say sepia. I've always said sepia, which is why I'm saying that. So it is kind of hard to tell, but even though it on camera, I think it's just gonna show up as sort of like an ordinary dark color. In person, it is a really unique color. It's almost like if you were to make this Bordeaux purple super, super, super dark, you know, like real, like the, like the skin of blackberries or something, that's almost what like this looks like in person. And then let's see. So that so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got all five new ones. And then we only have one of the ones that was already existing left to swatch. And that is this one that is called Green Black. And it is really pretty. It's almost like, um, in my opinion, it's almost like a really dark teal. So this is an existing color as well. And what I'm thinking of doing now is real quickly, and I can kind of speed through it, I'm going to swatch all the new ones together so you can see what they kind of look like together as a set. So we've got this one. Okay, so now you can see what they all look like swatched together. I think it's nice to have those swatches kind of zoomed in. So these are all available as the five color set or individually. They are not limited edition, so if they're hard to keep in stock at the beginning, then 
you know, just know that they'll just, you know, they'll keep coming back. I, we did already sell through a lot of our first batch, but more are already on the way or have arrived already by the time you see this. I do almost always announce products first on Instagram. So if you want to be the first to hear about this cool stuff that has arrived, it's, I feel like it's way more beneficial to follow us on Instagram. Also, because we do the monthly giveaways now and we have a lot of these five color sample sets that have come in, these sets are also going to be in the monthly giveaway packs probably for the next like six months at least. So that's another awesome reason to enter that. I will, I will post information below on how to enter because I do explain it on Instagram in the highlights, but basically anybody who tags me on Instagram in a relevant stationary post, like say you order from Tokyo Pen Shop or even you just already have your own like Japanese stationary supplies, if you tag me in, in a relevant photo on Instagram, then you're automatically entered for that month and that's all you have to do. You don't even have to tell me you're entering, I just automatically enter you if you've tagged me. Yeah, so it's about the end of February as I'm recording this, so we'll be giving away the February batch of prizes really soon. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Before I go, maybe I'm, I'll swatch this for you on more of a yellow slash creamy color because I think a lot of people would like to use the vintage on more of a creamy or a yellow. So I'll swatch it over here real quick just so you can see. Let's zoom back in. And this is the, I'm do, I did a whole separate video on this. I'm not sure which one I'll release first, but the limited edition Sarasa Grand. This is one of those, and I love to fill it with like a cool color from one of these. So you'll often find me removing one of my, you know, current favorites. For a long time, it's been the blue gray, but like in this case, I'm gonna remove this guy and put it in here. Because so right now, I think I have a, um, I think I had a, no, that one's not a marble. I must have had a ordinary one in there. That's kind of surprising, to be honest. But I'm always really excited to put the cool colors in my grand, so that's what I do there. Okay, let's give you an idea of what they look like swatched on more of a yellow or creamy background. It gives them a much richer, earthier look, which I really like, and I know a lot of people will be using them that way, because the paper also has that more, you know, vintage look to it, so it's a really nice matched. And this is a pretty dark cream, or, you know, I would almost call it a yellow. Shouldn't talk while I'm swatching, because then I write the wrong, <laughs> wrong color. All right, I hope you like those new colors. If you have any questions, please let me know and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.